Our movement today is going to focus on two important functions of the hip. The first one being flexion, and then the second one being external rotation. So hip flexion allows us basically to get into our important movements, such as the squat without any pain, and then also external rotation. So when we externally rotate a joint, it's typically going to be the strong position once it is externally rotated. So I'm going to use the wall for support here today. I am going to drive my knee up and then I'm going to try to rotate my hip open, rotate it back in and come down. So again, it's going to come up, it's going to rotate out and then it'll come back in. So when you bring this hip or the knee up, you're going to feel again that hip flexion, this mo motion here, and then we're going to rotate out into external rotation. You might even start to feel that glute a little bit. One thing that you want to try and avoid, so when you bring this knee up, you don't want that leg to drop down as you externally rotate. Try and keep it up high, and again, rotate out. All right, go ahead and complete about 15 on each side. You're going to start to feel that front of the hip, and again, then again, also those glutes start to fire quite a bit. Give it a shot, and let us know how you do.